Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for 500,000 subscribers. I am so honored to have you along for my farming journey in Nebraska. Today's video looks a little bit different. Grant and I, a couple weeks ago, headed down to South America and visited the country of Argentina. This video is just a brief overview of our time down there. I hope you enjoy. Good morning, everyone. After about 24 hours of travel, Grant and I woke up in Argentina. First day of the trip, we are spending in Buenos Aires. It is beautiful. It is a different season down here than it is at home. We just wrapped up harvest in Nebraska, but here they haven't started planting yet. We're going to explore the city for a little bit and then head inwards and check out some farms. We've done some walking around, mostly eating. Our dinner last night was over four hours long. We've been looking at a lot of boats. We're pretty near the ocean. Um, there's also these crane things absolutely everywhere. I'm not exactly sure what it's about, but we've seen so many of them. The food has been excellent. We seem to make friends with people absolutely everywhere we go, whether they're from Argentina or are visiting from other countries. But so far it's been an excellent experience. We are finishing up our time in the city and about to head inland. So we woke up this morning, not in the big city, but in the province of Cordoba. It is beautiful here. I definitely feel much more at home here. There's lots of wide open fields. There's lots of shrubbery. There's mountains and hills over in the distance. And we are being hosted by H&H &H Outfitters. They are a dove hunting group and they do just kind of the best job. They have this beautiful lodge that we're staying at. And this morning we have been hunting some doves. The weather is gorgeous. It is sunny, a little bit of a breeze. We're really enjoying ourselves. We're doing a little bit of hunting this morning and then in the afternoons we're going to tour some farms. So we just finished our lunch in a 135 year old house that they've renovated the inside of and now has like a fully functioning kitchen and bathroom. It is so, so nice outside. I'm thinking about the weather in Nebraska in mid-November. It's starting to get cold at home, but here the lows at overnight is like 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And during the day, anywhere from 70 to 80 degrees. So nice. And now I'm thinking I'm going to take a little bit of an afternoon nap while the birds will me to sleep. This is so amazing. The food is so good. I think I really, really love Argentina. I think the, the sun is um, much stronger in South America than it is in, in the U.S. <laughs> um, I didn't even, we were in the shade for most of the day and yet I have such a stark line where my shirt was. I am finding it difficult to describe how much I am enjoying being in Argentina. 
Honestly, words escape me. I'm just going to leave you with a few panning shots and hopefully they just give you a small semblance of what Grant and I are experiencing here because our hosting experience by Hayes and Hayes Outfitters is truly beyond words. It is quite possibly the nicest experience I've ever had anywhere. Good morning, everybody. Woke up this morning in Mendoza. This is the final leg of our trip to Argentina. We are ending our travels with some coffee, a lot of coffee, some wine tastings, and more delicious food at the base of the Andes Mountains. This morning, we are at a local winemaker. You can see just a few grapes behind me and some of the presses and a scale, and we're going to be doing some tastings. We are continuing our agricultural tour of Argentina in Mendoza. A large part of their farming here is grapes. So we are here at a small family estate. We are looking at some all natural grape production. They also have some animals. They have goats where they make uh, cheeses and creams and they milk them once every day, every morning. They also have two horses back there that they use to do any kind of work around the farm that they need to. They produce um, the Malbec grape, I believe. So we're going to be tasting some of the cheeses. They're going to be making some tapas, I believe, for us. And then we're going to be tasting some of the wine that they make from their grapes here. It's a beautiful day in Mendoza. The weather is gorgeous. I am loving all of the trees that they have around here. Just behind this line is the Andes Mountains Range, which is much bigger than I was expecting it to be. Grant and I had so much fun touring farms that we had to make a whole separate video on it. We ended up looking at a farm that was almost 100,000 acres and has so much cool equipment, so stay tuned for that. Just wanted to give a special shout out to h, &H Outfitters. They did the best job hosting us and we just had so much fun with them. If you are interested in checking them out, I will link their website down below. I highly, highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching part one of Grant and I's adventures in Argentina. More to come soon. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.